This is Myth or Medicine, a short series by HRC Fertility, exploring urban facts and fiction centered around the topic of making babies. Hi, my name is Dr. Lisa Becht. I'm a double board certified fertility doctor here at HRC Fertility, Newport Beach in Orange County. This week's Myth Buster, we're gonna be talking all about gender selection. So I would say that is definitely a common question of couples coming in. Um, sometimes they may have a couple of one gender at home or potentially they're very interested in having a gender. So there's always a question, can I choose the sex of my offspring? So first and foremost, really the only way to technically do that is to do in vitro fertilization where we're actually gonna do chromosome testing of the embryo. And if you have boys and girls and you have a preference, you can pick which gender we transfer. To increase the chance of getting boys or girls through IVF, um, at some places such as HRC, we do do a special sperm wash to try to change the distribution of what we're choosing. Typically, if we're just choosing randomly, it's almost 50-50 on males versus females. If someone does have a preference for one, um, we will do a certain sperm watch to try to increase the chance of either picking the male or female um, that you want, which is kind of based on the thought that um, the male sperm maybe are a little bit lighter and swim a little faster versus the female sperm are a little bit heavier and swim a little bit slower. That being said, this is by no means a guarantee. Um, but really, if someone is inter interested in gender selection, doing IVF where we're actually going to check your embryo before transferring is really the only definitive. And that being said, you may go through this whole process and unfortunately not get a normal embryo of the gender that you desire. Below all of this though, definitely we have a lot of questions. So there are certain methods out there for sperm sorting, um, where potentially you could do that with an insemination. Here at HRC, we don't offer that. There's definitely some considerations that potentially that could fragment sperm, that could potentially cause harm. Um, so that is something that it's a little bit harder, especially in the United States, to find a clinic that offers that. Additionally, if you are very specifically interested in one gender, while sperm sorting might slightly increase the chance of that gender, it by no means guarantees it, so you need to be ready to be pregnant with the other gender. Kind of below all of this, there's definitely things that you could potentially do at home, potentially to slightly increase the chance of one gender versus the other. There's a lot of different theories out there. Again, there is the theory, um, kind of the shuttles theory, that female sperm are likely um, a little bit slower swimming, a little bit hardier. Um, so the thought is, is by having sex a few days before ovulation, only those females are gonna be left over when the egg comes out versus if you'd like a male, the thought is, is those are faster, quicker moving sperm, but they're quicker to kind of die off. And so if you want a boy, you should have sex right around ovulation. Um, this is definitely a theory, as we said. There are definitely theories out there that say the exact opposite of that. So again, it's really just a theory. Um, lots of other things that you might read out there on the internet, different types of diets, douching, all different things to try to potentially change the a chance of a boy or girl um, but really like we said if you are definitive about gender selection really IVF is the way that you should go if you want definitive in terms of what you are transferring for a gender.